Hi, this is Amy Story with Bright Agritech, and I'm here with Hayden Christensen at Bayberry Fresh. Hayden has been building a walk-in cooler to store his tomato and other crops in. It's an 8x8 cooler, and Hayden's going to tell us a little bit about how he built it and what's next. So I decided to build a walk-in cooler um, because I was keeping stuff in the garage and in the house, and um, you know I needed a better place to keep things. I can't obviously keep it outside or in the greenhouse. So I had didn't have a good area that was enough space and was you know a good food safe spot and cool enough so I built a walk-in cooler in my packing shed um, it's eight by eight and um, gives me plenty of room for what I did this year and a lot of room to grow into um, yeah it's really easy um, I have pretty basic carpentry skills so the only thing I had help on from a carpenter my dad was doing the door and I could do it but I had him help me just so that we could get it really um, tight and really snug well fitting um, but other than that it's really easy to do and it doesn't take a lot of materials you know two befores um, the most expensive part is the insulation I started moving enough volume that I needed to have a good space where I could keep stuff keep it cool keep it bug free keep it food saved and um, you know keep it staged and ready to roll so actually this might is usually a pretty expensive part but I had one lying around um, I'm just using a regular old window air conditioning unit uh, mine is a little bit larger one. I think it's a 12,000 or 14,000 BTU. Um, so you need a little bit bigger one for an 8x8. Um, but yeah, I'm only running it using the AC's net, you know, regular controls to keep it at 55 or 60 degrees. So I don't, have, I don't need anything other than the AC. Um, you can use controllers to push it down to freezing or whatever temperature you want, but you still use the AC as the primary cooling unit. Uh, I just keep it like 55 to 60. That's about... Um, the AC actually doesn't go lower than 55, but you can go down to 50, but you don't want to get any lower than that on tomatoes because you'll have chilling damage. How much tomatoes can you fit in here? Uh, way more than I produced this year. I don't know exactly how many boxes. I've had up to, I think, 100 and some cases in here, 120 or so, and like my max weeks in it doesn't go over anywhere close to half of it. Um, so you can put a lot in here if you stack it clear to the ceiling. I mean, if you get to much volume at all and you want to be serious, I think you do need a walk-in cooler. Um, because a lot of stuff, like my cherry tomatoes, where I'm harvesting three times a week, you know, if I'm harvesting on Monday and it doesn't go out till Friday, what do you do with it in between? If you stack it up, you know, you need a place to put it. And ideally, if you can keep it cool, you know, if you were keeping it at 80 degrees, those tomatoes are going to be fully ripe and starting to rot. Um, so it really, it gives you a lot of advantage as far as just handling things better but it also gives you your business a little bit of a leg up to be more competitive with the big guys because you might start from monday to friday and it might look okay and it might be okay for another week but because i kept mine in my cooler it gives me another four or five days or a week of shelf life for them so it's also a quality control thing further on down the chain and it just makes you more standard and comparable to the bigger guys a lot of people have made four by fours or four by eights because it does take more power and a bigger ac to do bigger so if you think you're only ever going to use a 4x8 and you're never going to expand, I mean, do that. Um, I would like to expand a lot more and I want to do more field crops where I'm going to have a lot more volume. Um, so I wanted to build an 8x8 to give myself, you know, quite a bit of space to grow into until I have to go to something bigger like a reefer or something like that. Um, but yeah, I guess it just depends on what you're planning to do in the future and how quickly you're going to do it. If you're not going to grow for five years, then maybe you don't want to pay for the AC for five years and then do smaller one.